a very promising rising young star in this sport. This guy's got lots of agility and ability. The introduction of the official for this evening's match is Jimmy McGuire. Oh, ranting and raving here. What's his problem? Dahl making reference to the size of the Carolina kid. I'll tell you this though, he's got a heart as big as all outdoors. And we're just about set now to begin our first contest as Daw making his way into the squared circle. A Carolina kid getting this crowd involved. There's a collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Dahl backing his man to the corner. The kid now, they're jockeying for a position. And Dahl breaks clean, that's unusual. Bobby Dahl will usually get that cheap shot in if he can. Bobby Dahl's definitely gonna have the experience edge in this contest. He's been wrestling a lot longer than this Carolina kid, but the kid's got that enthusiasm, that youthful exuberance, and a lot of heart. He's definitely the crowd favorite here in Pensacola. There's another collar and elbow lockup. Quick arm drag by Dahl, nicely executed. Apparently he thought so too. As he poses for this crowd, Flexing his muscles, he's very proud of his body and his good looks. He claims to be the sexiest man in professional wrestling today. Another tie-up, and Daw with a full scoop slam. Puts the Carolina kid down hard to the canvas. I have never seen anyone so in love with himself. There's another collar and elbow tie up. Hip lock. Down goes the Carolina kid. And Dahl just giving him a lesson here in wrestling. Wait a second, arm drag takedown by the Carolina kid. Scoop body slam of his own. There's the hip toss. And he does Daw one better with a flying head scissors, well executed. Daw scoots out to the arena floor. And the Carolina kid showing Bobby Daw that he too can do all of those great wrestling maneuvers that Daw executed early in the contest. Daw thought he was teaching the kid a lesson there. But in fact, the Carolina kid well versed in the school of wrestling. As a matter of fact, one of the premier students from the Rock and Roll Express Wrestling School. Dahl a little shaken up, but he's uh, cleared the cobwebs now, stepping back into the squared circle. Maybe just a little more humble than he was before he left. 
There's another lockup, collar and elbow in the center of the ring. Quick knee by Dahl, forearm smash across the shoulder blades. He's opening up on his young opponent now. A kick returning fire by the Carolina Kid, but Dahl rakes the eyes across the top rope. He'll use any tactics to win, fans. There's a turnbuckle head smash. Bobby Dahl now taking over with those hard elbows, the point of the elbow to the top of the skull of the Carolina Kid. The kid's game, he fights back with a kick to the midsection, but Dahl is just too much man. Another full body slam executed by Bobby Dahl. Momentum off the ropes. Well executed leg drop right across the face. Lateral press cover hooks the leg, but only a two count as the Carolina kid gets that shoulder up. Reverse chin lock applied now by Dahl. And a great opening bout to kick off this awesome card of all pro championship wrestling. Wait a minute, the kid ducks the clothesline, cross body press, almost gets the three count. Arm drag takedown. Locking in the arm bar now is the Carolina Kid. As it's now the kid in the driver's seat. Wait a minute, he's asking the crowd. Drops the leg across the arm of Dahl. Trying to wear down that limb. Good, solid, scientific, technical wrestling displayed by the Carolina Kid. Dahl backing his man to the turnbuckle using that superior weight advantage. Big forearm smash right across the chest. And a second, Irish whip to the opposite corner. Dahl goes in with momentum, but the kid's out of the way, schoolboy roll. And another quick arm drag by the Carolina Kid. And so far, if you were scoring points, wrestling fans, the Carolina Kid would just barely have an edge over the Hollywood hustler Bobby Dahl, but this is the pro ranks, fans. No points awarded. Tried for a go behind there, did the Carolina Kid, but Dahl maneuvered him to the outside ropes. A veteran move there by Bobby Dahl as he shoots the Carolina Kid into the steel guardrail. This is the Bobby Dahl we all know and loathe. Fires his man back into the ring underneath the bottom rope. And Bobby Dahl now, with a little help from the steel, has gained the upper hand. Straight right hand to the top of the head there by Dahl. And a big forearm shot. Drops the leg to the back of the head, driving the front of the skull and the cranium into the canvas. And a front face lock now applied by Bobby Dahl. Looks like he might be getting a choke in there on the side. Irish whip to the opposite ropes. Looks like he's gonna apply an abdominal stretch. And Dahl, as always, wearing a new wrestling outfit. He wears different attire every match, it seems. Using the top rope for leverage there was Dahl. Referee Jimmy McGuire, a veteran of the Matt Wars, cut that immediately. Good officiating there. As Dahl backing his man into the corner, Irish whipped to the opposite side. Look out, up and over with a sunset flip, the Carolina Kid, but only a two count as the veteran Dahl kicks out and drops the elbow across the back of the neck. Blatantly choking the Carolina Kid across that bottom rope now is the Hollywood Hustler. Another heavy elbow to the back of the skull. An elbow of his own by the Carolina Kid. Fighting back now with right hands. It's the Carolina Kid trying to mount a comeback. Reversal of the Irish whip. High back body drop. Dahl to the second rope. This might be that flying fist drop, and it is. Patented Bobby Dahl offense off the ropes. Lateral press cover hooks the leg, but only a count of two. Dahl once again applying that reverse chin lock. 
You see how he's got the knee squarely between the shoulder blades there for added leverage. That's very painful. Shoots his man out to the floor through the ring ropes. And the Carolina kid hit hard on the concrete there. Kick to the midsection by Dahl, a forearm shot to the back. Trying to put the head of the Carolina kid into the top turnbuckle, but he blocks it, reverses the kid to the top rope. But Dahl landed on those ropes and really shook the kid, lost his balance. Uh-oh, this could be the superplex from the second turnbuckle. All the way down to the center of the ring, crashing the Carolina kid to the canvas. Cover hooks the leg, this will be all. No! Look at the heart and the determination of this Carolina kid. High impact maneuver, superplex off the top and he kicked out, he had that, look out, sunset flip. This could be it for Dahl, this could spell the end. Only a two count. And Dahl takes a right hand in the midsection. Schoolboy roll by the Carolina kid. He's on top. Once again, only a count of two. What a great competitive match to open up this great All-Pro Championship wrestling card here from the Pensacola Interstate Fairgrounds. Irish whip into the corner by the Carolina kid. Reversal now by Dahl. Lowering the head, swinging neck breaker, well executed. If he can only get the pin. One, two, oh, and Dahl is out. Now it's the Carolina kid slowing things down with a reverse chin lock. I think that might be a mistake. The Carolina kid needs to keep it in gear. He needs to keep it going fast and furious. That's where he'll excel. If he slows it down, Bobby Dahl will have the advantage. Reversal of the Irish whip. Power slam by Dahl, hooks the leg. Only a two count, when will this match end? Both of these men have a lot of determination, a lot of intestinal fortitude. Neither man wants to go home with the loser's end of the purse, ducks the elbow, backs Dahl into the ropes, reverse roll up. Dahl reverses that. But the Carolina kid is all in the ropes there. Jimmy McGuire calls for the break. What an opening bout we're having so far. Dahl now with an Irish whip. Big clothesline jarring through the entire body of the Carolina kid. Wait a minute, Dahl's got the tights. Did you see it? From our vantage point, it was clearly indicated. Dahl with a handful of the trunks of the Carolina kid gets the three count after that lariat. Your winner is going to be Bobby Dahl with an illegal pin. Jimmy McGuire asking him about the trunks. Dahl just said, I beat him fair and square. That's a bunch of malarkey and we all know it. Stay tuned wrestling fans. We'll be right back with more great all pro championship wrestling action.